Hello and welcome back to Nomraga. It's a journey. We are currently in the Loping Plains and we're going to continue questing. We are going to continue questing. We uh, Last episode we started up here. Uh, we went over here. We cleared the Goblin Fort. Got bored waiting there. We cleared all these all these things here. All these caves of Minotaurs. We came around here got that quest done. We killed this guy. We killed this guy. I'm kind of roamed around here, roamed a little bit over here, killed some more orcs, and uh, made our way right here, uh, where all these quests are. So we're going to go ahead and pick up these. Uh, I believe these are just normal kill quests, so good to have. Let's uh, see. Greetings, traveler. My name is Tyrium, and this is First Light Cove. We are the survivors and descendants from the curse that came from the Hills of Shade. You may make yourself comfortable or help us out with some issues that we could use some help with. Issues? Yes, as you can see, we have recently settled down here and made First Light our home. We have still many dangers, including the were-orcs, goblins, and wargs. If you would decrease their numbers, we could uh, find some payment for you. Were-orcs, goblins, and wargs. Am I out of uh, spell? No, I have room. Wargs. There we go. So, our quest log grows even longer. <laughs> so we need to kill 20 orcs, 20 goblins, and 20 orcs, goblins, orcs. Yep. Yeah. And he didn't really say anything, anything important. <laughs> All right, what do these guys have quests over here? Okay, we found a dead spirit, so that's nice. And we need his sword. Those look like items of value. Drop all those on the corpse. Uh, is this lady over here? No, it's a refugee. All right, perfect. So we can grab the next quest from Mengrel here. Hello, I'm sorry if I look preoccupied. I've lost my necklace that my wife gave me. Necklace? The necklace was the last thing I had to remember her by. I wish there was a way to get it back, but the vampires that have it are far too dangerous for me to battle alone. Would you be willing to aid me in retrieving my necklace? Aid? All right, and we got Lost Necklace, and wonderful, the cave is home to many dangerous vampires. Okay, uh, I don't even know where that's at. Uh, maybe over here? All right, let's go up this way. Uh, looks like Riverion here has a quest. Hello, my name is Rivalron. And I'm First Light a Cove Builder. I have a couple of tasks I could use assistance with if you're interested. Assistance. Uh, rebuilding ore. Assistance. Rebuilding wood. And assistance. Clay. All right. And those just want us to deliver ore. Pile of wood. And clay. So that's not too difficult. All right. So we have to kill uh, 20 wargs, so let's go ahead and grab all these. Probably want to drop this down. Now oh, we're getting stunned. There we go. Grab all these wargs, get them all right here. I think that's all. There's maybe another one up here. Just get them all right here, perfect. And then we're just going to kill stuff over here for a little bit as we make our way to throughout this part of the zone. And there's some more orcs over here, so that'll complete that quest for us when we, uh... When you get to that. Come on. Am I close enough? There we go. Get him dead. Where are all my wargs? What are they all doing? They're all over here fighting my... My pet. What is that spell? 
That's a Shadow Knight spell. Don't need that. Okay, here's Marble Ore. I kind of want to set those things aside that he asked for. <laughs> we completed something. I don't know what it was, though. All right, we're at 19, uh... 19 of those. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we finished the orcs. So we just need to kill... 19 more orcs. There's a bunch of camps up here, so... Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. I don't know. These ones are all dead. I don't know what the gym covered box is for. There's a necromancer over there. They should die. There we go. Keep making our way around here. This is a pretty, you know, this is a nice zone. I mean, I spent a little time here, and uh, what I did kill uh, when it was in in level range was uh, definitely a decent experience. Yeah, we're making uh, good progress here. Vicious Warg, is that a name? No. Are there any names over here? Not that it's, not that it denotes. There we go. We're going to just try to kill everything as we come across it. Uh, I believe inside that cave is where the vampires are. So that's that's a double dipping quest because we needed to go clear the... Yeah, right here. This one and the necklace should both take place in that cave. And then... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like most of the quests for the zone. There's a few that we can't get because they're... Uh, they're, uh, what you call it? They're, um... Chain quests. So you get one and then you have to go get the other one, so... Uh, nope. Nothing there. Where are we at? I don't see... There's some more orcs right here. I was about to say, I don't see any more orcs. But here they all are. So we're going to drop this right here. And we're going to pull all these guys in. Grab these ones over here. And lonely guy over there. And we'll grab his dog too. And these spells sell for like two or three hundred platinum each. So definitely worth uh, picking up and selling those to a vendor. All right, looks like we got, we just need goblins uh, at this point, so that's good. I keep getting the task stage complete, but I have no idea what the, I have no idea what, uh, what it is. Is there like a body here that we missed? We'll definitely get all these uh, turned in to kind of clear up the quest log. There we go. And let's go ahead and head into this cave. All right, task stage complete. Found the cave, killed 12 vampires. All right. Oh, these are interesting looking. I don't think I've seen this model before. All right, what are they dropping? Because that looks like a vampire heart. It says it's worth 45 tribute. That might be worth some money, so that might be worth uh, keeping around. A rusted necklace. Uh, oh, that's perfect. And that is awesome. Six of them are dropping. Uh, so, yeah, that... Uh, that doesn't happen 
very often <laughs> in quests. Like I've, 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 uh, I didn't, I've never noticed very many of those. I kill that thing. Is this like really this small? Okay, there's another half on the other side. I was gonna say because we have to kill uh, quite a few more before we're done. So I don't want to. Uh, there's one. I don't really want to. Oh, we got another necklace. Uh, I don't want to have to come back, right? All right. Not sure. Not sure what task stage that was. Work to the bone has been updated. All right. So we, we've cleared this, we cleared that. We didn't clear that one though. So we go back through here. And then... All right, two more. Three more, perfect. And... We should be finished with that one. Yes, we are. All right, vampires have been cleansed from Norath. They're making the world safer every little bit of time. All right. So, where are we at here? There's a graveyard up that way. So, the sham. Uh, the, uh, Shaman, the um, or goblins are right there. So maybe we can go over this mountain. Disappointment, absolute and utter disappointment. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna mount up and we're gonna run around. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm not gonna waste recorded time on this. I'm going to run all the way around to the goblin area. All right, uh, found, uh, found two quest guys right here. And the lost husband got updated. Where's that? Lost husband. Oh, okay. Oh, we find rumors about him. We found his dead body over there. <laughs> All right. Our pet is just like murdering stuff somewhere because uh, I ran through camps. All right. Um, Tis de Riddell, may Tunar shine life onto on your soul, no regard. I am Tisridel, a wind racer, a lowly servant of Tunar. Have you come here? Come to help restore the power of nature to these plains? If so, I may be able to help restore. Restore. There we go. Yes, the trees, the fields, the wildlife of this area need to be mended. Long ago, these plains were corrupted by the scorn of Aerolis Mar, which has withered the very essence of nature here. I was sent here by the priests of Tunar to help assist adventurers such as yourself with the task of restoring the land to their previous glory. I've heard tales of an oracle who resides in the Three Oak, an area thriving with life now. However, that area appears to be withered and distraught. Perhaps we should place our efforts there in our quest to restore the fallen area. Oracle. I have the maximum number of quests. Oh, okay. One second. All right. Here we go. Oracle. The Oracle of the Three Oaks is a wood nymph that is a caretaker and protector of the woods. Whispers on the wind have spoken to me about this nymph's 
nymph's anguish. The three oaks themselves are being corrupted at their roots by an unknown force, and the nymphs needs assistance in restoring the balance to the area. Go there now, Nomergard. Find the nymph, assist her, and vanquish the corruption. So that gave us, geez, <laughs> the talking tree. And then the patron of the arts over here. Greetings, skeleton. My name is Galeon Duel, <laughs> though most know me as the patron of the arts. I've returned to the Loping Plains looking for an adventurer to help me recover some items from the Festival of Mistwind. These items are of great importance to the Felwith and Kelthin. Kelthin. Recover. Yes, there's some very valuable pieces of arts that were lost the day of the festival was corrupted by the evil winds of the Hills of Shade. I fear that losing these arts are, will lessen the cultural significance of the elven races in Feador. They must be recovered. Are you interested in doing some work? Work? All right. And we picked up another one. Festival of Nightmare. Find the festival grounds. All right. So we got those. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. Yeah, this way or up here. Uh, see if we can get to these goblins. And uh, try to knock that quest out so we can clear up some of these quests in our quest log. All right, we got Minotaurs right here. Uh, we need marble from the Minotaurs. Let's go ahead and kill these two, and then we'll keep going. Let's see if they drop anything. Uh, they did not drop marble, so we'll have to come back through there. All right, I believe these are the sh the <laughs> shaman, the goblins on this island right here, or if not around here, I believe. Uh, and if we're lucky, they'll drop the supplies we need. All right, I don't see anything up here. That's unfortunate. What about over here? I'm in the right spot, right? I guess, I don't know. I don't see anything right here. <laughs> Let's just go around this area. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> there was no goblins here, so that was a complete disappointment to me. Uh, but we'll come over here. Uh, this finds the, the grounds, so we need to pick up a few items here. And when we came here for the uh, Dragon Scale Hills, there was, uh, we picked up the drum and stuff while we were here. But I, I, I deleted all that stuff because I didn't know what it was. And... Uh, we can do that now. So the Finneman's loot. Um, flute. What is that for here? Let's just go ahead and loot one of those. Because we're going to have to figure out what all this goes to anyway. It's going to be quite a, quite an ordeal just turning all these quests in. Uh, but the drum is right here. Grab that. I think we just have to kill these citizens pretty much and we'll get all the items I don't remember doing anything special there we go now we're getting canvas I don't want to loot those advanced loot edit filters Cancel. Remove. There we go. So that's just going to fill our inventory up with canvases we don't need at this point in time. All right, let's get this guy. Let's just get all these guys, right? And then drop this if we can get it to land. There we go. One more of them. Some more guys over there. And never loot the canvas. Uh, what is this remains? So he has the wand. 
we needed the wand, so that works for us. The rest can stay on the ground. Just in case some other lucky person comes by, they don't have to kill anything. But I really doubt anybody else is in the zone. Oh, there's actually a bunch of people. Wow, that's a, that's different. Uh, but my guess is they're all uh, power leveling. All right. Looks to be good there. We need the flute. That's all we need. That looks like a flute. <laughs> there was a flute. All right. Uh, no, I don't want to drop it on the crown. Return, return, deliver, deliver. All right. So we can go give these to that guy real quick. He's right up here. I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's anything else down here. She wanted us to go to a different area, so that works out. This all should die. There we go. Alright, he will... Ooh. Is that where the trints are? Because we need to get a bunch of trints for the woods, so that'll be... That'll be convenient. I'm just like all over the place, right? <laughs> Uh, so let's see here. We need to give, uh, let's see if we can get him right here. All right. He wanted the bone wand, the drum, the lute, and the flute. All right. And we've got a completion reward of faction and, uh, experience. Perfect. And he doesn't have a follow-up quest that I'm aware of. So let's head up here. Uh, the Oracle is over this way, so... We're just gonna... We're gonna murder everything in this zone area. These cursed trends. We need 10 wood from these guys, so... It's gonna be something we're gonna have to do. Amber. Trent Amber is money. Frog skin is money. Go. Frog eye and frog toad. Both are money. I am a cheapskate and I sell everything. <laughs> everything that can possibly be sold. I will try to sell it. Uh, it's just... I, I, I have so many characters, I burn through so much money, it's just like, might as well do the best I can to save as much as I can. There we go. It's like almost 2 million platinum to uh, pretty much level up a character from, uh, from 1 to... Uh, to 115 buy all their spells and then gear them out with uh end gear give or take uh i mean it can be cheaper sometimes if you're if you're able to skip some stuff it is anyway all right hail to you oh geez greetings skeleton i am known as the oracle of three oaks I feel I am required to tell you about the Three Oaks themselves before you assist me further. Years ago, an elf by the name of Eld became a protector of these lands known as the Loping Plains. This elf, empowered by Tunar, would use his power to restore wildlife, commune with animals, and fight disease and pestilence. One year, however, the scorn of Erolisii traveled to this area. Many things withered and died as a result. Eld, using all of his strength, was unable to fight this corruption. In a noble gesture, he sacrificed himself to prevent the undead from marching into these lands. His spirit resides in the Three Oaks themselves. His voice travels on the wind to speak to many of Tunar's chosen. The corruption now, however, has seeped into the roots of the Three Oaks. Um, um, malevolent, um, um, malevolent, um, yeah, imp lord has taken residence and stolen the heart of the oak. Destroy the imp lord and return his heart to me. 
All right. Uh, is he down here? There we go. I think he's down here. There's a bottom feeding imp. All right, we're just gonna... What is that? Is that an item to pick up? It looks like an item to pick up. Imp wings, uh, looks like they're worth something. Imp parts, trade skills. I've never seen those before, so. I guess we can't pick that up, whatever that was. Oh, they're all over the walls, okay. Pristine imp claws, that's worth some money. Is there a map? <laughs> okay. So, maybe, oh wait, he's this way. There we go. I missed the turn. There he is. And we'll drop uh, our remote sphere and just burn them all to the ground. All right, we got his heart. And we'll take some in blood. There we go. We'll leave all the rest on the corpse for... Anybody who happens to be in the zone coming down here, which should probably be nobody, but uh, you never know. All right, uh, let's see here, back up to her. Return the dark heart to her. All right, we completed that quest and faction of the late with the ladies of light and a little bit of that. Uh, so we're already max faction with the ladies of light from uh, from the other quest that we did to kill the brownies. Okay, so that looks done. Um, let's go out of here. Oh, that's not a door. I'm clicking it like it's a door. Um, so we didn't get any wood, uh, that is strange, so it says, uh, wood drops from the trends, but I did not see any wood, <laughs> and there's a druid, uh, ring over there too, for easy teleportation access, all right, uh, Oh, goblin campfire. Where are we at? We're at 30 minutes. All right. Um, I say this is going to be a good place to call this episode in these uh, spooky woods here. Let's go up here and get a nice thumbnail image. And yeah, um, get out of the get out of the. <laughs> get out of the thumbnail you stupid mercenary uh so yeah what we're gonna do uh we're gonna go kill some goblins after in the next episode uh and then by then we should be able to go start turning in some of these quests and uh we've made significant progress on the zone so far so uh, probably two, one or two more maybe three episodes at most and we're done with this zone and then after this we're gonna head off to uh fortress mechanauts and then ocean green hills but uh thank you for watching and have a great day